a very good afternoon and welcome to my next adventure. Thank you for joining me on it. I'm currently in Tuscany in Italy at Grotta Gusti, which is absolutely stunning. It's such a quintessential Italian resort. We just had a tour of the hotel and it's beautiful. This hotel is super famous because of the thermal spas that they have here. They are unlike any other in the world. In fact, they have the biggest thermal cave in the entirety of Europe and we are here to sample some of the spa treatments. I'm here actually on a journalist press trip so I'm here with some other lovely journalists and we're basically here to just enjoy the hotel and the treatments particularly. Um, I actually worked with this hotel group um, a few months ago, I don't know if you've seen my Sardinia video, if you haven't I'll link it down below, um, but it's called the Italian Hospitality Collection and I love the hotel in Sardinia so I'm guessing this will be just as beautiful and on first look it is absolutely stunning and we're super lucky because the sun is out in force today and apparently it's going to be the most beautiful weekend so yes to sunshine here in Tuscany. I am going to be exploring a little bit as well, we're going to go to a couple of little towns, go on a few little hikes but it's mainly all about the spa therapy here at the hotel. Just checked into my room, um, <laughs> it's pretty messy already but I'm on this gorgeous balcony looking down at the grounds which are really really pretty, I just had some afternoon tea actually downstairs I will insert the Instagram picture that I took straight away because it's absolutely gorgeous right now um, just gonna jump in the shower because it was a super early morning I got back from LA this morning technically um, so I've had no sleep <laughs> I went home switched my clothes around and went straight back out to the airport so I'm super shattered um, but grateful to be in Italy so no complaining from me but I have on that note, uploaded recently a video um, about my trip to LA and Palm Springs. So if you haven't watched that, it will be the one for this. Again, I will link it down below. But yes, shower time for Sabrina. So this is my bedroom. We're staying in one of the deluxe double rooms. It has that amazing balcony outside. I'll just quickly show you the bathroom. Very cute, very Italian. Lovely, nice, large shower. And then big bed. Started unpacking already, as you can see. Little TV. Me, hello. And then... This is the view from the balcony. This is gonna be me tomorrow, guys. This is the thermal cave, how amazing. Just having some aperitivos, awaiting our drinks. Thank you. morning so we are just on a morning hike within the grounds it's so beautiful we've come up to uh, the caves where they actually got the materials to build the hotel all those years ago and there's some people canyoneering down which is pretty cool another fresh morning last night I was out for the count we went for some yummy dinner um, but yeah up and ready to explore today and ready for the spa treatments we just found out that you can do another hike further up you can get right up to the top so I think tomorrow morning I'm gonna come back by myself and do that hike because I love me a hike So when you check into the hotel, they ask for your shoe size and they take up to your room a towel, a robe and some slippers, which is cute. So we're heading out to the pool now. The pool is heated at 26 degrees at all times and it's 100% thermal water, so from underneath the hotel, which is pretty cool. It's super early in the morning and it's still so busy. You can come to this hotel if you're not actually staying here, so it's like a Lido as well. But if you are staying at the hotel, you have a specific layout area, which is nice. And the sun's out too. Love in life. You have to wear these really fetching swim hats when you're in the pool. <laughs> so off I go. <laughs> So I'm just about to get my detoxifying body mud mask using mud of course from the grotto. Very excited, gonna feel like a whole new woman afterwards, fingers crossed. Here we go. Just finished my treatment. I didn't video myself because in true European style I was stark naked apart from a pair of paper pants. But it was amazing. 
you know, I would never have booked in for it. It was booked in for us for all of the journalists on this trip. We've been booked in for this detox wrap um, because, of course, the mud is been, well has been created from the thermal waters and all of the nutrients that are in the thermal caves. So it made sense to book us in for this, and I would never have chosen it. But I really liked it. It was really unexpectedly super relaxing so the bed first of all is heated which was just the dream it's so lovely and warm so as soon as i got onto the bed i was relaxed if i'm honest then i was covered in the mud which was a really nice experience actually because i'd already asked my therapist to to go in quite heavy because i love a deep massage so she really applied the mask which i really enjoyed um all over my body then i was wrapped up then I had a face mask applied and I was left on my own for about 10-15 minutes just for it all to soak in. Then I got in the shower um, and I quite liked it because you get in the shower yourself and wash it off. I've had treatments before where they wash it off for you and I personally don't like that if I'm stood up in the shower. If I'm on the bed, fair enough, but if I'm stood up in the shower I like to wash it off myself. So I washed it off and my skin felt amazing. Like a, like a thin layer of oil was on top of my skin um, and the therapist said that's because there's oil in the mud treatment. But it felt really good, like it felt really good and I think my face looks kind of good considering it's just been mud masked and um, feels really good that's for sure and then after that dried off got onto the bed and had really quick I'd say about five minute massage which again was really nice it was just a nice finish to the treatment so yeah I would never have booked in for it but I actually really enjoyed it I think when I go to a spa I just want a heavy massage like I just want to go out feeling like I've been broken um, but I'm feeling relaxed and refreshed right now and the um, the mud mask is got well has got amazing detox fine properties so it's all good it's all good on the health front so yeah i really enjoyed it highly recommend it i'm quite hot now still sat on a heated bed that's probably why it's so nice so you can hire bikes at the hotel and laura and i have just jumped on some and we are exploring the pretty little town that is right literally two minutes away from the hotel and now the operation is to find gelato because I've been in Italy for a whole day and I haven't had gelato yet, which is just not on. <laughs> it's not on. So we're going to go and find some. Oh my goodness. Now this is the hardest part is choosing. I normally go for like a hazelnut when I'm in Italy, which I wouldn't normally go for at home. But in Italy, I just absolutely love it. Oh yeah. Yeah, baby. Hazelnut, Kinder Bueno and a coconut and chocolate. Oh yeah. All uphill from now, so wishes luck getting back to the hotel. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> it's quite the uphill bike, especially in 30 degrees. I say that, it's 20. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Down into the grotto, we go. All right guys, so we have been placed into our monk robes and we're heading into the grotto. I'm on my phone again, because you can't take cameras into the grotto, because obviously it gets too hot, so I've got a little plastic bag to put my phone in. I'm so excited, but also really anxious. <laughs> Look at us all. Yeah. This is why it's particular because what all things you see are created underwater. Yeah. And uh, this, the gravitational cone, this and this and other we see, you can see all in this cave. Amazing. In world. 
Yeah. This exact cave. Yes, this wow. is. Uh, this has a town billion of years. Yeah. And now, what we do? We take the longest part of the water. Okay. my favorite things I've ever done. I feel like I'm walking on the moon when I'm down there. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's amazing. Amazing. Wow. Incredible. one of the best things I think I've ever done. I've just got back to my room and I've got um, a helmet head, but my goodness, was that amazing. Like nothing I've ever experienced. I've done a lot of diving before. I'm an advanced diver, so I've been on a lot of dives, but this was like, just like nothing else. It was dark, but not too dark that you couldn't see everything. And it was just like, it was like being in space. I kept saying like, I felt like I was in space because you don't dive with fins and swim like you usually would. You dive whilst rock climbing so you're diving in the sense of the equalizing and the breathing and all that jazz but you're basically rock climbing and then you kind of launch yourself from rock to rock then you like scurry yourself in between rocks it was just it was amazing i hope i managed to get enough footage on the gopro because obviously it was the first time i'd ever done anything like that so i was trying to concentrate on not killing myself or killing the rock for that matter because it's never good to you know break away the world um so good i recommend it oh my goodness do i recommend it i would suggest coming on a trip just to do that if you're a diver it was amazing they describe it as the um, eighth wonder of the world i can see that it was so good i'm on such a high it was amazing there was one bit where we were on the edge of a rock and my dive instructor because it's just me and him by the way so i was holding the gopro so anything that he did i then followed if that made sense um, but there was one bit where he was like on the edge of a rock and he just launched off and like did like a superman off it to get to the next one and I had to copy everything he'd done so I like bent down and just jumped off and oh my god it was so cool I loved it good morning so we have checked out of Grotto Gusti and we are just exploring a little town called Luca which was about a 20 minute drive um, and it's in between Grotto Gusti and Banya de Pisa I need to practice saying that a lot because I'm going to say it wrong um, which is the hotel that we're checking into this afternoon so just going to have a little explore it's another gorgeous gorgeous day here in Italy I'm going to have a wander around hopefully get my hands on some more gelato as well <laughs> So we are going for a rather quirky option to explore the walls, which stretch for four kilometers around the town. We're going on these cute little bikes. There's a four one. Yes. And then we're getting on the two one. <laughs> this should be fun. Beautiful. Hi, I'm a chihuahua. That's a baby as well. So nice. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is so funny. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. Oh, the possibilities are endless. <laughs> He's like... Speed demons is what we are. They see me rolling. They hate him. <laughs> that was so much fun. Highly, highly recommend it. <sighs> Laura and I, we uh, smashed it. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. <laughs> right, we're going to go and explore the uh, old town now. main square in Luca. Quintessentially Tuscan, it's so cute. Got me some more gelato. Mm. Because, I mean, I do feel like that is your main thing that you need to do if you come to Italy. Especially if you're in the Tuscany area, the gelato is, in my opinion, the best in the world. So I got five scoops. Mm. Off to hotel number two. Oh my word. So we've just checked into Bagno de Pisa. This is my suite, guys. <laughs> I'm speaking quite calm and collectively because this is amazing. Oh my goodness. Wait till you see the bed. How gorgeous is this room? And all of them have alfresco ceilings, each and every one with a completely different and unique design. This is crazy. This is the ultimate princess suite. Oh my word, this is so beautiful. I can't get over this bed. Wow. And just as with Grotta Gusti, uh, you enter the room, you've got your spa, robe, towel, and slippers in a bag. Oh my word. This is all wardrobe space, as you can see. Let's have a little nosy, shall we? Old school wardrobes. And this one. More slippers, hairdryer safe, spare pillow up top as well, I saw, which is always handy. I'm always holding my lens cap in all of my videos. It's a huge wardrobe space then there. I love all these doors. Let's take a look at the bathroom together because I've not actually been in the bathroom yet. Oh, this is so pretty. This is so pretty. How gorgeous is this room? Fresh flowers. Wow. Wow. 
I mean, how amazing is this room, please? The hotel when we drove in looked incredible. Um, in the centre is like this huge palace. And we've just been told that you can walk all the way up to the top and see the view of the entire ground. So we're probably going to do that tomorrow. Um, the good weather ends today, unfortunately, but hopefully it will stay blue enough in the morning. I can't believe this place. Wow. Okay. Going straight down for lunch, but I wanted to show you this uninterrupted. Wow. So we are now just about to head down to the spa here in Bagni di Pisa. And Laura is coming with. So they've got a grotto. Um, it's smaller than the one at Grotto Gusti, but you can basically just go into the pool and float and enjoy yourself. And then they've got all these special hydro pools, which we're going to go into. And then they also have a saladarium, which is where you just lie down on salt and it's really great for inhalation and circulation and all this good stuff. So without one day here, we're going to make the most and go and hit every single one of the pools before we go for our treatments. I'll take you with me. It smells amazing. Wait, is that it? I'm so confused. Good morning guys. So last night I slept like an absolute princess because the rooms here are just so incredibly dreamy. Um, shame we're only staying here for one night, but what an experience. I mean, just such a gorgeous hotel room. Had a really lovely day as well. So much happened yesterday. So we went into the small town Luca, which is so pretty, highly recommend it. Then we came to the hotel and experienced the wonder of our rooms. Then we went to the spa. So there's a huge um, indoor pool which has tons of different thermojets and then they've got salt pools, they've got another hydro pool, they've got a bunch of pools um, because they have an outdoor one which is like a rooftop outdoor pool as well but it was a bit too cold for that one yesterday because it got a bit cold in the evenings and then they have another indoor pool so they've got so many different options, steam rooms, treatment rooms, they have everything. Um, then we went to the small little grotto which was so cute and so ridiculously pretty. So that was really fun. Went in there with Laura and we just relaxed for 20 minutes. Um, and that's something that you can book out as a couple or as a you know a bunch of friends, um, but you have 20 minutes in there per session. Then we had the sal saladarium treatment, which was really different, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, so you basically lie down on a bed of heated salt and you're wrapped up and then salt's poured over you. And that's pretty much it. You just you're left to relax. It's supposed to be really really good um, for your circulation and for draining properties. And I really liked it. The only thing was they were playing pop chart music, so it was really difficult to relax. So Laura and I were just giggling, but it was a really nice experience. It's just I needed spa music to fully relax. Um, but yeah, it was it was a nice treatment. It was just really quite funny, um, but I enjoyed it. And then after that, we went and had wine tasting, which was great. And then we went for dinner. And then obviously I came and slept in my princess bed. So now I've just ordered myself some breakfast. Um, but I might sign out of my vlog here. So thank you for watching. Please do subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. My next adventure is going to be a while in real life. But in YouTube life, it will be next week. I'm going to Croatia. So hopefully I'll see you then. Bye.